Welcome back to the New York Jets franchise, everyone. Today, the Jets face another NFC West opponent in the San Francisco 49ers. Now, the 49ers currently sit on top of the NFC West, but are only 6-5 in doing so. So, a win is necessary for them if they want to stay a game ahead of the Rams in that division. San Francisco, along with the Jets, are bottom fourth performers in the passing game. And as a whole, the Niners are the 30th offense in the NFL. Right there with New York, who bring up the tail end in the league. I would only think that we'll get to see plenty of defensive domination in this game. The 49ers will be facing the number one defense in New York while having the number 12 defense themselves. With guys like Nick Bosa, DeForest Buckner, and Quan Alexander in their front seven, I would imagine that finding running room may be an issue today. Will we see a defensive battle that gets the Jets a little closer to taking the lead in the AFC East? Or will the 49ers strike gold and remain in top position in the NFC West? Let's get set for action as the Jets take on the 49ers here on the Football Freaks Sports Network. Rookie Ronald Howell is back deep for the Niners, and this game is underway. He takes a knee in the end zone, and this one will come out to the 25-yard line. Garoppolo, 12 touchdowns, 7 interceptions, and almost 2,500 yards on the season and hoping to improve that this afternoon. Matt Breida gets the first carry and is out to the 37 yard line, a first down for the 49ers. Another carry for Breida and he takes it up the middle to the 41 for a four yard gain. And Quesenberry and Cherry, the main reasons for the success in the 49ers running game and we'll see if that holds up today. Garoppolo passing it on third and six and it's broken up by Robert Ramirez. Intended for Josh Reynolds. The punt handled by Howard. Has good yardage out to the left and he is out of bounds at the 45 yard line. Putting the Jets in excellent field position there, Darnold with those 10 interceptions on the year. Trying to hold that to zero for this game anyway. Almost sacked and throws it out of bounds. Thrown in the direction of Chris Herndon. Back to pass again, throws over the middle, caught. John Ross down to the 31 yard line of San Francisco. A 24-yard reception for Ross, and he's definitely the number one receiver on this team. Jackson, and the screen pass out to the right, uh, down to the 23 for an eight-yard gain. Pass over the middle, caught by Howard. First down at the 16-yard line. And there's that very strong defensive line, headlined by Buckner and Boza. And throw in Quan Alexander in there, and they have a front seven that can stop just about anything. The pass goes to Jordan Thomas, open into the end zone, touchdown Jets. There was nobody on that left side, and all Thomas had to do was catch the ball and run into the end zone. Seven to nothing, Jets. Garoppolo. Throws complete to Reynolds, and he's taken down by Jerron Mason. Second and four now, Brita draws a flag, and it is face mask against the Jets. Jerron Mason is the guilty party, and that gives the 49ers a first down. Brita again gets the call, and he's down to the 44-yard line of the Jets. And you see last week's numbers on him, 68 yards on 17 carries. 
The play action pass is complete to Reynolds. He's inside the 25 to the 21. 49ers driving and that's Kittle into the end zone, touchdown 49ers. The Jets obviously not expecting pass on that play and Kittle goes pretty easily into the end zone being chased by Ramirez but he is way behind. It's 7-7 now, Darnold. Play action pass, throws, and yeah, that one is incomplete. I don't know, he threw it into a crowd and probably shouldn't have thrown that pass. Another play action pass, throws long, and it's intercepted. Monte Nicholson grabs that one and comes all the way back out to the 48 yard line. Putting the 49ers in excellent field position. Darnold putting way too much air under that and it was intercepted quite easily. Brita slips a tackle and is all the way out to the 44 yard line inside Jet territory. Second and two and Jonathan Allison with the catch down to the 37 and a first down. Brita finding room up the left hand hash marks to the 27. Second and inches, Garoppolo on the read option. Gets the first down to the 20 yard line before he's stopped. And that brings us to the end of the first quarter. The score is seven to seven. Now second and eight, and Brita is caught in the backfield by Jamal Adams. Third and 11 coming up. Out of the shotgun, Garoppolo with time. And finally dumps it off to Brita, and he goes out of bounds at the 20-yard line, a long way from the first down marker. And out comes Greg Joseph and boots the field goal through and it is now 10 to seven, San Francisco. There's Darnold's numbers on the first quarter, four of seven for 52 yards, a touchdown and an interception. And a screen pass complete to Jackson out to the 32 yard line. Seven yard pickup and does Jackson pick up the first down? Yes, he does. From the 35 now, the pass complete to Arsenault, taken down by Wesley Ross at the 49. Darnold throwing again, and this one's complete to Herndon out to, well, down to the 43 yard line. So that brings up second and one. A long pass, complete. Touchdown, Carl Arsenal. A 43 yard touchdown pass from Darnold to Arsenal puts the Jets back up on top 14 to 10. Now, with almost six minutes left in the first half, Brita up the left hand hash marks to the 28 for a five yard pickup. Garoppolo is sacked. He tried to do a play action pass, rolled out and he paid the price. Sacked back at the 18 yard line. Pass this time to Josh Reynolds and incomplete as he couldn't hang on to the football. The punt fielded by Howard and he is to the 44 yard line he just didn't get the cut that he needed or else that could have been a longer gain than what he had. Pass over the middle to Howard and he's to the 41 of the 49ers. Second and seven. And Darnold goes down. Buckner gets him all the way back to the 49 of the Jets. And the pass this time is broken up, intended for Jackson, and that brings us to halftime. 
with your score 14 to 10 in favor of the hometown New York Jets. Now with an update, let's go to Eurocat, baby. The first half has seen some great things from both teams. Garoppolo hasn't had a big impact as far as yards through the air, but he is at 80% complete, so he seems to be on target when he does throw a ball. Although Darnold has had a bad decision end up in an interception, he's also throwing the ball well. In other action, the Colts find themselves down at the half 17-10 to the Dolphins with Andrew Luck throwing two first half interceptions. The Eagles are having success stopping the high powered running game of the Ravens. Add to that, Carson Wentz throwing for almost 170 yards in the first half alone. That puts them in the lead 17-7. In Foxborough, the Patriots lead the Titans 14-10 just before the half. Deshaun Watson is having a near-perfect first half at over 85% complete for 147 yards and two touchdowns. With outstanding play like that, it's going to be hard for the Jets to take the lead in this division. In the meantime, here in MetLife, after a very lackluster running performance in the first half, can the Jets get that part of the offensive attack going? Stay with us to find out as we continue here in East Rutherford in just a moment. Welcome back everyone to MetLife Stadium for second half coverage of our game between the Jets and the 49ers. Each team has had a successful passing attack in the first half but the Jets need to establish a running strategy if they want to take some pressure off Sam Donald. Have they made changes that will impact the course of the game? Let's find out as we continue with the second half. The Jets with the opportunity to go up two scores. Have the ball at the 29 yard line. Donald back to pass and completes this one to Jackson out to the 35. Jackson gets the carry and he is up the middle and has the first down at the 39. Darnold back to pass, going long and it's caught! Carl Arsenault with the grab at the 11 yard line. I thought for sure that thing was going to be knocked away and Darnold goes into the end zone and it's caught by Howard. A flag on the play and defensive pass interference is called. That will be declined and a touchdown will be the result of the play. But what concentration by Howard on that play. Breda gets the call and he's stuffed by Adams in the backfield for a two yard loss. Now third and nine, Garoppolo in the shotgun. Throws complete. Ellison at the marker and is denied by Ethan Goodman. That means the Jets will get the ball back at the 32. And Darnold goes down, Buckner with his second sack of the afternoon. Now second and 18, the pass complete to Ross out to the 38, four yards shy of the first down. And back to pass again. Darnold throws out to Herndon and he doesn't get to the first down marker. Fourth and three and the Jets have to punt. Garoppolo now starting at the 26. Rolls to his right and straight into Ja'Kai Polite. A 10 yard loss back to the 16 yard line. Out of the I formation, Brita can't get out of the backfield, stopped by Demarcus Faulkner. Third and 23 now. Garoppolo has all day to throw it and is still scrambling around and runs out of time. Rivers takes him down along with Coco Sheffield. And Howard takes the return 
And is all the way back to the 33-yard line. The Jets are already in field goal position. 235 yards for Darnold on the afternoon. The throw this time to Ross down to the 14-yard line. Padding those stats again. Darnold calls a hot route at the line of scrimmage and oh, Ross catches it, but it's out of the back of the end zone. So third and 11, the pass to Ross. This time it's caught. I don't know whether I would have thrown that pass or not. It seemed like he was throwing it into some pretty tight coverage and Nicholson just doesn't get there in time. And it is touchdown Jets, 28 to 10 is your score. And Brita is taken down by Taj Little in the backfield. Third and 13. And that is broken up by Robert Ramirez. And from the 22 yard line, the 49ers are going for it on fourth and 13. The long pass is incomplete, intended for Dante Pettis. And broken up by Julian Love. That gives the Jets perfect field position again. The second and two. Jackson up the middle, first down inside the five to the two yard line. And the run up the middle by Jackson into the end zone, touchdown Jets. That takes your score all the way to 35 to 10 with eight and a half left in the game. I would expect a lot of passing from the 49ers at this point. Pettis with the reception out to the 40 yard line. Garoppolo back to pass. This one complete to Josh Reynolds inside jet territory at the 48. Pass again to Reynolds to the 40 yard line and the 49ers are on the move, second and three. Again, Pettis down to the 31 and another first down. Garoppolo out of the shotgun, throws, no! He gets sandwiched and loses a football picked up by Ethan Goodman. And that ends the 49er threat on the comeback, Sheffield caused the fumble and picked up for the turnover by Goodman at the 39 yard line. Now second and eight, Darnold out of the shotgun to Jackson up the left hand hash marks and into 49er territory at the 49. Now it's Jacobs' turn, and he gets all the way down to the 42. Third and three. And another run by Jacobs, and he is stopped in the backfield. Fourth and three, and the 49ers hold. There you see the numbers on Garoppolo, 14 of 20 for 130 yards and a touchdown but they have a long way to go, 25 points down. And Garoppolo goes down in the hands of DeMarcus Faulkner. From the 14, Garoppolo alone and throws it incomplete out to the left. The upcoming punt this time, Howard Fields it at his own 33 and into 49er territory at the 43 yard line. The Jets now subbing. Odom back there at tailback, runs around the right side, has yardage and down to the 34 for a nine yard pickup. Now he goes to the other side, has room and is inside the 25. And down goes 
Wesley Ross, and it seems like he's going to be okay. Odom again to the 15-yard line, and that will bring us to the end of the football game. The Jets win this game 35-10 over the 49ers. With a tight ball game at the break, I would have thought that the second half would have given us more of the same, but the Jets kind of took over the game on offense and defense. The offense added another three touchdowns, while the defense was pretty much the reason that New York was put in awesome field position time and time again. The defense, as can be seen by San Francisco not scoring at all in the second half, shut down the 49ers. Just three first downs in the second half didn't make for a very good productive half of football. New York put just enough of a running attack together to make a dent in the 49er defense, but it was the passing attack that really put the points on the board. Darnold has been playing some pretty subpar ball in the last couple of weeks, and that changed today. 72% complete for 268 yards and four touchdowns. I would say that's doing pretty well. Garoppolo was able to complete another eight passes in the second half, but that fumble and a lack of protection hurt his performance considerably. It didn't help that the Jets' defense held the 49ers to a minus eight yards on the ground in the second half. Thus the reason I said the Niners were shut down. The pass had to be the scoring mechanism and it really wasn't working all that well either. Matt Breida had a great first quarter, but partway through the second, the Jets' D finally figured out how to stop him from gashing them for big chunks of yards. The 49er defensive front was strong, well, (laughs) for the first three quarters anyway. Then they just started getting gassed, and the New York backs started finding a little room. The only player that surpassed the 100-yard barrier in receiving was Carl Arsenault. A couple of really nice long completions, and he had that stat all sewn up. The defense, though, after a little rough start in run defense, took control of the game. Seeing that New York has the number one defense in the NFL, that wasn't too much of a surprise to see. I, for one, thought that San Francisco would be a little more of a challenge for the Jets, but after New York figured out the running scheme of the Niners, It was pretty much a done deal. Second year left end out of Rutgers, Coco Sheffield is proving to be a force to be reckoned with. 1.5 sacks on the day. Add that to his 31 tackles on the season so far, and you can see why he is the defensive end leader for the Jets. Also, cornerback Ethan Goodman picked up out of free agency is proving his worth as well. Remember that he was the one that recovered that Garoppolo fumble and continues to be Mr. Right Place at the right time. There were some key players upgrading this week. You might have expected this, but Carl Arsenault got a slot upgrade and really benefited from a boost to his catching attributes. Left outside linebacker Jared Davis gets a pass coverage upgrade, which for him is a very good thing since he has been really good in run support but needs help in pass defense. And finally, the Jets kicker, Trent Lyon, gets an upgrade, his accuracy being the beneficiary this time. Well, up next, the Jets return to division play against the Buffalo Bills. The Bills are only a half game behind the Jets, and the sports writers are splintered on who they feel is going to win this game. The Jets won their first meeting in Week 7, 35-23, but that was at home with the crowd on their side. This will be in the presence of the Bill faithful, 
and that may prove to be a challenge for the Jets. New York boasts the number one defense in the league, and the Bills are number three. So each offense is going to need to be in top form if they plan on making a difference in this game. Well, that's going to do it for this week's episode of the New York Jets franchise here on the Football Freak Sports Network. The New York defense helped Matt Breida down, especially for the second half, and their pass defense was up to the challenge of stopping Jimmy G and company. Will they be just as successful against a very good offensive unit when they knock on the doors of New Era Field? Will Sam Darnold be up to the task of leading the Jets' offense against the number three defense in the NFL? Be with us to find out when the Jets visit the Bills in Orchard Park. And until we see you then, for Eurocat Baby and the rest of the crew, this is Husker Eurocat saying so long for now, and have a good day, everyone. <laughs>